Good morning, good afternoon guys, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Diddy, and yes, hmm, I need to shave, I need to shave guys, yes, <laughs> in this today's very short TA video, because I really don't have time today, I need to do a shitload of work, because some guy liked to break off the mirror of my car, I need to repair that one, so very short, but very powerful, two or three really cool charts to give you an overview of why it is very 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 exciting at the moment even i feel the excitement of the charts guys let's jump into the charts quickly bam This is the first chart I'm going to share with you. Um, I will do it like this. You can see this is a day chart. And on this day chart, you can see that we are forming this pattern that we need to break out of. Preferably not to the downside, but to the upside. The thing that you can also see on this day chart is that the price is moving downwards, this green thin line, but that all the other indicators, the RSI, is moving upwards the stock rsi is moving upwards now we are seeing this blue dive so maybe we should draw it a little bit like this but then still it's moving upwards and the mfi the money flow index also moving upwards all of this price down indicators up is what they call bullish divergence which should be a very bullish sign which should mean we would break out to the upside not to the downside and the move that we are going to make now is a very important move because that can be the move to 40k or the move to 24k and we don't want to see the move to 24k we prefer to see the move to 40k at least i prefer to see the move so in the short term now between now and the end of this week it's just very exciting it's really exciting we really need to keep watching the market on a daily basis bam here we have the tensor charts this is the heat map this shows you where the buy orders are and the sell orders are and if you look at this chart you can see there's green area here on the bottom that's the 31,500 area till like the 3800 there's a lot of buy orders so that we can see that there is a lot of buyers let's go to the next chart. bam over here very important the gaussian channel we've been talking about it the last couple of weeks this candle must not close down below the level of 33,700. and now we are looking at the chart to be <coughs> freaking you out a little bit in the heiken ashi candles if we would look at the chart in the normal candlesticks then we would see that this line is becoming a little bit resistance of this five-day candle and that five-day candle will close in 16 hours so in 16 hours we should be above this level of 33,900 to not see this candle as resistance if we turn into resistance and the next candle will open then there is a huge chance we could go to down to the 26k level but again this is now on the candlestick pattern and we have been watching the chart all the time on this one on the hiking ashin so we could still see the support as well but we need to close a little bit higher than we are at the moment very important next chart bam over here if you look at the weekly time frame this area that we have been moving in is a very important area this is every candle is a week. You can see here from the beginning of uh, December 2020, this line has been support. And we have been moving inside this box. And when we broke the box, we went up that huge run to 60K. We came down into the box. And then that top line became resistance. And the bottom line should stay support. So this weekly candle that was going to close in four days should close above the level of 32,000 US dollar. Then we found support again, like we found support there, support there, support there. A very important line. The next couple of days up till Sunday, very important. That was the big view of the charts, guys. Let's jump into this one because, bam, 
in these big views of the charts, you can trade. Yes, you hold all your portfolio. That is what you look at these charts, you know, go up in the long term, but you can also trade it. And that is why we use the Bam Bam indicator. For the Bam Bam indicator, let's uh, have a look at it. This is the four hour chart. How would that short have been playing out? I don't know why it does it. I need to check that with Oryx because it keeps changing that one to the normal line. I want to be stepping line. So one more time, the Bam Bam indicator. Why would you have taken the trade? You have a short flag. We have a candle closing down below the other stepping line. We have the red line on top, the green line in the middle, and the, of the orange line in the middle, and the green line on the bottom. We have a red dot, blue and yellow starting. The bam bam is already closing that level, and that's like one, two, three, four, five confirmations of that short. If you would have taken that short at the latest point over there, you would still be in it at the moment with a 4.6% profit with a leverage of 10 that's a 46 percent profit that is how the bam bam indicator works you could have taken that long as well you could have taken that short as well all of these indicators help you with deciding when to buy or when to sell so if you want more information on the bam bam indicator then go to the bitcoinfamily.com or just go to um, our videos here and down below every video um, we have these links and you should be using those links to sign up to the exchanges for example to buy a bit where we have a sixteen hundred dollar um, offer at the moment deposit bonus or to prime xbt where you get a fifty percent deposit bonus or to do that for a three hundred dollar deposit bonus yes you can also sign up to binance and yes also to prime xbt and machine trader guys over there so do use these links because yes we make some fees and yes we use those fees to help poor people all over the world now that was a very short ta video i think i kept it bam around nine minutes i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video and all the information and if you appreciate all that information then please give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think is this bullish divergence going to lead to a huge run to the upside of 40k or are we going to crash that bullish divergence and we are going to fall back to 24k let me know down below in the comments what you think thanks for watching and, and also enjoy the family video i'm going to upload later today because it was a beautiful hike here in portugal thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam